the uh, mouse is two in only because of the fusion of haploid germ cells. That shows the, uh, the female forming the polar nuclei. I remember us talking about that. This again is another one of the plant. This one is a bit uh, is better. A recombination. I'm going to stop on this one as well. But the, 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 the significance of this presentation is the, is the reproductive cycles of these organisms. So once again, yeast, Clamidomonas, um, Neurospora, they are they're very similar, small differences. The only other thing I want to add, one more thing about Clamidomonas, there's this thing called cytoplasmic inheritance. And Clamidomonas is a very, very good organism to demonstrate cytoplasmic inheritance. And so the plus mating type is going to be the cytoplasm that's inherited by all these organisms. So if this organism has something in its cytoplasm, then all of these will be just like the plus mating type. But the nucleus is going to be different. So the plus mating type, the whatever organelles are there in Chlamydomonas, what are the organelles you think you'll find in Chlamydomonas? Can you name one? What is it? I can't hear you. It's just like us. We all have the cytoplasm of our mother, right? So the plus mating type will help give up its cytoplasm to all of its offspring. So mitochondria, chlo uh, chloroplasts, Golgi apparatus, endoplasm reticulum, all those organelles, but more specifically, it would be the chloroplast would be inherited here. So um, studying cytoplasmic inheritance, genes that are only expressed in the cytoplasm uh, would be a good organ would be a good way to study this particular. Right? Well, any genes that are expressed in the chloroplast. I mean in the cytoplasm. Okay. And is that it? Mm -hmm. Well. So so far, all we have to do is the karyotype. No, we have a lab that you have to do today. Okay. Um, and I apologize for it not being here. Are we done with the presentation? Yeah. Okay.